Can you remember the worst sex you ever had? Why was it so bad? Was it the mind-numbing boredom, lack of connection, or simply excruciating awkwardness? Sometimes even good sex can be imperfect because there isn't such a thing as a perfect lover. But in some cases, there are some red flags in your partner's sexual behavior that makes the whole experience far from enjoyable. Let's explore some of those. Setting the stage. In the realm of sexual experiences, taking the time for foreplay is essential for arousal and enjoying the moment. Unfortunately, this first step often gets ignored or rushed through. But then you miss out on the pleasure and connection it brings. A medically reviewed article on Healthline.com states that foreplay is essential for physical pleasure and emotional intimacy. This can be achieved through various means, such as tender touches, warm hugs, whispering sweet nothings, or engaging in passionate kisses. But without the proper foreplay, you may end up feeling unaroused, unsatisfied, or emotionally disconnected from your partner. The closing act. Just as foreplay sets the stage, aftercare, emotional and physical care after a sexual encounter, marks the important closing act. Try to imagine some of your sexual experiences. Have you ever felt unusually emotional after sex? Social psychologist and sex researcher David Wall mentions a state called postcoital dysphoria, which is a feeling of sadness or emotional unease after sexual activity. It might be easy to just roll over and fall asleep after doing the deed, but neglecting aftercare can leave one or both partners feeling emotionally neglected or disconnected. Simple acts like cuddling or engaging in meaningful conversations create a safe and nurturing space for both of you to address your emotional well-being. Me, myself, and I. Have you ever had a partner who was selfish in bed? If so, you've unfortunately encountered a so-called pillow princess or pillow prince. They're the ones who solely focus on their own pleasure without considering your desires. Comment below if you know the types. As certified sex therapist, Dr. Juan Camarena points out for menshealth.com, these individuals tend to approach sex with the mindset of wanting to be pleased without putting in much effort. But the truth is, sex is all about finding a balance between giving and receiving. It's absolutely important to respect your partner's boundaries, but it's also perfectly okay to express your own needs and desires. So instead of focusing solely on your pleasure, the key is to find a space where both partners feel comfortable and fulfilled. Entitled to your body. In some extreme cases, being selfish in bed can lead to a troubling phenomenon called sexual narcissism. Sexual narcissists are individuals who believe they have an absolute right to sex, particularly within a romantic relationship. A 2010 study found that this mindset can escalate to sexual aggression, including coercing a partner into unwanted sexual acts, verbal threats, exploitation of an intoxicated partner, or even using physical force. It's a manipulative behavior where arguments, pressure, or positions of authority are used to force someone into unwanted sexual activity. So please remember, whether you're dating someone or not, this is illegal and completely unacceptable and goes against the principles of consent and respect. Unopened textbook. Limited knowledge about sexual anatomy techniques or consent can create misunderstandings, discomfort, and unsatisfying encounters. For instance, not understanding the significance of proper lubrication and clitoral stimulation can cause pain for individuals with female genitalia. Similarly, not realizing that performance anxiety can affect erections may lead to feelings of shame. That's why according to a 2020 research, sex ed is so important. While sex education alone may not directly address all the complex factors that contribute to intimate partner violence, it can contribute to creating a more informed and empowered society, fostering healthy relationships and promoting respectful communication. Of course, no one is expected to know everything right from the start. However, Taking the initiative to educate yourself about sex can significantly enhance the quality of your experiences. To start, take a look at some resources in the description below. We hope you never had to experience these red flags in your relationship. But if you find yourself in some of these situations, please remember to take care of yourself. And if you want to learn more about healthy sex, take a look at eight psychological facts about sex. Thanks for watching and take care.